Good evening. Welcome back to Crochet with Lulu, where we talk about lots of things. Crochet, not crocheting, more crocheting, and more not crocheting. <laughs> How is the weather in your area? It's still cold here. We still have snow and ice on our driveway. Our steps are still icy, and we are sick. So, I went out yesterday to get meds at the pharmacy, but I didn't think of salt, and I don't know that I would have felt like chasing it down. We live in a small town where everybody buys rock salt, bread, milk, eggs, you know, the basics. So, anyways, I didn't think to go out, and and I didn't feel like chasing it down. So, today, my bright idea, my hair's doing weird things, and I apologize. I decided that Epsom salt might, you know, start the process, and it helped some. So, my neighbor had a box of regular salt, and that helps some. So, some of the ice has gone off of a couple of the steps, but the rest of them are still, still, um, they're icy. And then we've got rain. My neighbor said it was snowing. I've not been back out, so I've got to take the two fur children, which are conked out beside me. <laughs> but, um, I have some videos and pictures to to edit and put on here, and I will get those done. Um, I was gifted three bags of beautiful yarns Sunday night. We went to a church in Gainesboro where my son spoke, and we had a wonderful time. The people there are so precious. I, we just love them. But it snowed really, really bad while we were there. So, I shared the video on here. It's under the shorts. So, you'll just have to hit my channel and look at the shorts. It was bad. I-40 East heading towards Cookville was, was pitiful. I mean, it was pitiful. We thought that once we got on the interstate, it would be better because we knew the back roads would be snowed over. But I-40 was just about as bad as the back roads. So we were so thankful we got home and we didn't go anywhere. Well, I take that back. He went out for a minute, I think on Monday to grab a couple of things at the grocery store. But where we live, we live right in town. So it's easy to get in and out of our driveway and our local grocery store. They're wonderful. They've opened during daylight hours. So that helps my voice, I apologize. But um, it's been a week. <laughs> it has been a week. Then on top of all that of my son being sick and I've been sick, um, he tested positive for the flu, nothing else. But I can't get in to see my primary care doctor till February 2nd, so. Anyways, we have a duplex and the heating unit blower is messing up. So that's gonna cost dollars. So, we're just hoping that it will last a few more weeks. Um, the neighbor is actually going to have surgery and going to be in the nursing home for probably a month or two. So, that's going to help us buy some time to get the blower fixed. But, I mean, yeah. But we've had, we had sunshine yesterday it was gorgeous. It just didn't warm it up enough to melt the snow and ice on the driveway and the steps. Now, it came off the house, and it sounded 
horrible. I was asleep. I Finally, I call it passing out. I conked out on the couch. I woke to hearing the ice and the snow come off the, the roof, and it scared me. I think I just pulled my own hair. I've got hair going. But, um, yeah, it was terrible. So, all day yesterday, it was warming up enough to let that fall off but it didn't warm up enough to melt the snow and ice in the driveway and and the uh the steps so that's okay it surely will warm up enough tomorrow but like i said i've not been back out i've got to take the fur babies back out in a little bit and i dread going back out because i know it's going to be very cold and they don't like to leave the porch especially Sophie, she's just like, no thanks, no thank you. I'm not participating. Snow is not my thing. <laughs> they were so funny earlier. They were chewing, which I keep it unplugged, my electric blanket, until I have to have it, and then I'll turn it on and leave it on for a couple of hours. Then I have to unplug it again because they're little teethers. So, I caught him chewing on it earlier, and I was I was getting on to him, and, oh, he was just sassing me up a storm. He's hilarious. But anyways, I'm going to link, well, I'm not going to link anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to show you the pictures of the sweet little girl from the church that gave me all the yarn and I'm so thankful for it. It will keep me busy for a while going through it and just, I mean, it's gorgeous yarns in the bag. And um, there's some projects already started in a couple of the bags. So I'm, I'm anxious to pull those out. I sound wheezy, I sound, oh. but um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good week. We're already almost on Friday. I mean, where has this week gone? I kept looking at my phone a couple of days to see what day it was because I just couldn't, I couldn't keep up with what day it was. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get better and the snow and ice will melt. I think here in Tennessee, where I'm at, we're not supposed to get real warm temperatures till next week towards the middle or the end of the week, then we're supposed to have 50 and 60 degree weather. But that's Tennessee weather. I'll have and say you can have a nader or a hurricane <laughs> or a snowstorm in a week. I mean, it's, it's wild here. And of course, people always think we wear flip-flops everywhere, which a lot of people do. I don't. I don't. I do good to walk in normal shoes. <laughs> I could not stand flip-flops, and I'm going to get myself coughing. So, I'm going to say good night and goodbye, and everybody have a wonderful week. Please hit the like and subscribe channel to my channel. Whew. And I'm not taking any medication. I have taken two ibuprofen since the weekend just because I hurt um, this cold makes you hurt. So anyways, when you get old like me, <laughs> but have a wonderful rest of the week and please stay safe, stay warm, check on your neighbors, check on the fur babies, leave um, snacks and food out for for strays that may come through. Make boxes and put blankets and things in. They have plenty of places here they can get refuge from cold or storms. So, uh, have a good rest of the week. See you later. Bye-bye.
Good Friday morning. I hope everyone is staying warm and well. Um, I feel somewhat better. I don't have a lot of energy this morning, but I took the, the fur babies out and we are getting some more snow, but I don't think this will stick or make, will amount to much, I don't think. Of course, we had a lot of warmer, not not real warm, but warmer temps yesterday, and the snow and ice was melting, but I'm thinking that because the temperature didn't get high enough to keep it melted and dried up, that uh, the side roads are still in a mess. Um, so be safe if you have to go out today, just be safe, be cautious, beware of your surroundings and have a game plan. Um, I, Sunday night when we started to leave to go to Gainesboro to the church where my son spoke, I packed a bag in the truck because you never know if you get stuck in snow what you're going to need. So I had extra coats, scarves, uh, beanies, tennis shoes, socks. Um, I was prepared. And so, you know, you never know. So take extra. Have an emergency kit in your vehicle. Um, have some matches. Have have things that you might need on the side of the road if you were to get stuck in a ditch or be stuck in a spot for a while waiting for somebody to come and get you. So, um, anyways, there's some things I forgot to mention about the church that my son spoke at. It, it is a wonderful, beautiful church. The people there are just, we love them. I mean, they are just absolutely precious people. This church reaches the recovery, and they have a wonderful, beautiful recovery program. And it's amazing to listen to the testimonies of these, these beautiful souls that come through the recovery program, and what they've been through is, is so frightening. But what they've come through during the program and what they've made it through and to hear their testimonies is just absolutely priceless and beautiful. We were able to hear one of the girls Sunday night give her testimony of her life. And it was just, uh, you know, you your heart breaks for them. But you know all the work and the love that this church has poured into this recovery program is just, it's beautiful. So the girl that gave me the beautiful yarns, and you see a clip of her in this video at some point, she has the beautiful smile. Her name is Liza. She knits and crochets, and she yet she gave me three bags of beautiful, gorgeous yarns. And I just thank her so much. She is so precious. Her and her sisters, I love each one of them. Her mom and her dad. The work they do, the love they give everybody. I mean, they love everybody. I mean, and it shows through the other people in the church how much this one family loves all the families and all the people in this church. And the church comes together as a whole and they work together as a whole. And that's what it's all about. But her clip is on here. Her name is Liza. She has a beautiful sister named Olivia and Josie. And I don't know the other ones and I love their mom and dad and the work and the love they put into this place. We are still getting some snow. Like I said, I don't think it's going to amount to anything. You hear the fur children over there in the background. They've done escaped out of the room. So I'm going to have to get off this video and chase them down. And I'm not able to chase. And the Biggs has helped her escape. And then now he's come back into the living room. Biggs, Biggs, come here. Why'd you let Sophie out? 
and I will try to, to put the video on this weekend of him sassing me last night. I have an electric blanket. I keep it turned off because of them. I turn it on for a little bit, and then I'll unplug it. But last night, I caught him chewing on the, the edge of the blanket. Oh, he sassed me through two videos. It is so funny. Just to see his little face and to hear him sassing his nana. But um, love you all. Be kind. Be safe. And if you have to get out, please have an emergency kit with you. Candles, clothing, all kinds of things. Bye-bye.